some of the things that should be really easy in FreeCAD, unfortunately, are not that simple to do. One of those things is putting a hole on a curved surface. So a couple of days ago, a friend of mine asked me to show him how to do this, and I made a short video. And um, I decided that I would release this video in case it might be of help to somebody who's just starting off in FreeCAD and found him or herself in a situation where they're trying to put a hole on a curved surface and are realizing it's not that easy to do. So if you are interested in knowing how to do this, stay tuned and I'll be right back. One of the problems with FreeCAD is that it's not as intuitive as it should be and putting a hole on a curved surface should definitely be a little more intuitive than it is. But once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. So um, once it opens up, uh, we, can, we can start. Now, the trick to put a hole on a, on a curved surface is using a tool called the datum plane. So I'm going to show you how to use that tool. Let's begin by creating a new project and um, we'll create a body and we'll create a sketch. And I'm going to uh, make a cylinder, a um, cylinder with um, an 80 millimeter diameter and 80 millimeters high. So I'm going to make it on the XY plane. We'll say OK. And um, we're going to uh, just make a simple cylinder. So we're going to go to circle. And I'm going to basically just make a circle here. And I'll constrain the circle by going to the constraint tool. And I will click on the diameter constraint and I will make the circle 80 millimeters. So now we've got an 80 millimeter uh, circle and we're going to pad the circle by closing the sketch and going to the pad tool. And I'm going to pad it uh, 80 millimeters. So now we have a cylinder that is 80 millimeters in diameter and 80 millimeters high. So at this point, what we want to do is basically put a hole on the cylinder, through the cylinder. In fact, what I want to do is create two holes, two intersecting holes um, on the cylinder, on the, on the face of the cylinder. And um, this is going to be difficult because if I try to make a hole on the cylinder uh, by creating a new sketch, uh, I'm going to get an error. And the error is you need a planner face as support for a sketch. So the way you get a planner face is by hitting the, uh, uh, the datum plane option. And what it does is it puts a datum plane here for you to use. Now it puts it on the bottom of the object, so we don't want it there. We want to get the the right uh, face or plane for the datum plane to be on. So here you can choose. Now it's not going to let me choose it unless I've got the datum plane um, properly configured. So I'm going to hit on pad, and then if I go back to tasks it should move along the different axes. Okay, so uh, what we want is to have it on the X, Z axis, and we want it to be right on the edge because that's where we want to put the hole. So the, the way you do that is by essentially moving it uh, here. There's an option to move the datum plane to whatever position you want it to be in. Now, I know that I want to put it on the edge of the cylinder, and I know that the cylinder is 
40 or 80 millimeters in diameter. Therefore, I know that if I move it 40 millimeters, it's going to be right on the edge of the cylinder. So if I hit 40, it's going to move to the edge of the cylinder and that's where it is right now. It's right on the edge. So at this point, what we do is simply choose the datum plane and we can create a geometry right on the datum plane. So I'm going to create a sketch on the datum plane and I'm going to go to circle and I'm going to create a circle on the datum plane like so. And I'm going to constrain the circle. You don't have to constrain it, but I want the circle to be right in the, at the center of the cylinder. So let's first of all uh, constrain the diameter of the circle. So I'm going to click on constrain diameter and I'll make the circle 30 millimeters in diameter. Now I want it to be centered on the cylinder. So the way you do that is again by clicking on the center of the circle sketch, clicking on the origin point, and we know that this is exactly 80 millimeters tall. Therefore, if I go to the vertical constraint, I can make the constraint 40 millimeters, and now it will be exactly centered. So let's just move these out of the way. So we know now that this is centered, the circle is fully constrained, and you know it's fully constrained because it's green. It also says here it's a fully constrained sketch. We can close the sketch, and at this point we can make the hole. The way you make the hole is by going to the create a pocket with the selected sketch tool. There is a, another tool beside it that is the create a hole with the selected sketch. Don't use that tool. That tool creates very specific types of holes that are meant for screws and that kind of thing. If you just want to create a hole, a regular hole, you actually should use the create a pocket with the select sketch. It's not very intuitive. It's misnamed, but that's the tool you use. So if we click on that, we can see that it's creating a dent in the cylinder. And we can create a, uh, a hole, whatever size we want. So if I want a 20 millimeter hole, I just put in 20 millimeters and it will create a 20 millimeter hole. If I want the hole to go right through the cylinder, which is what I want, the way you do that is by, again, let me click the pocket here. And one of the options is to go through all. So if you do that, there will be a hole that goes right through the cylinder. Let me just put that in place so you can see it. And of course, you can also turn off the datum plane, so it's not in the way, by clicking on datum plane and then hitting the return uh, key on your keyboard and it will turn off the datum plane. So now we have a hole that's going right through the cylinder. Now let's say that we want to put another hole here uh, that will intersect with this hole. Well, the way you do that is by again creating another datum plane. So I'm going to create another datum plane by going to body and hitting datum plane. And now it's going to create a datum plane again at the bottom. I don't want it at the bottom. I want it to be on this surface here. So what I'm going to do is change the datum plane. Again, I have to make sure that I'm on the right um, on the right part. So I, I need to click on pad and then I go back to task and then it should move around. So I'm going to do the same thing. Basically I will move it 40 
millimeters in the Z direction. And let me just uh, properly zoom in and we'll move this around so you can see it better. And we'll make it like that. Now we can make another sketch on the datum plane. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to click on the datum plane and I will make another sketch. I will again make a circle that is 30 millimeters in diameter. Click this, constrain diameter, and make it 30 millimeters. And I want to make sure that it's centered, so I'm going to click the two points, and I'm going to click on the vertical constraint. I'm going to say 40 millimeters. Now it should be perfectly centered on the cylinder. And um, I'll close the sketch, go to the create a pocket with the selected sketch option, and I'll simply go through all and say OK. And I'll turn off the datum plane. And now we've got two intersecting uh, holes on a curved surface on a cylinder with a curved surface obviously and um, it works that's how you put a hole on a curved surface